Hi guys, welcome to my next instalment of um, my little vlog based on my custom built guitar that I'm having built at the moment. Um, I've had some more decisions to make and it's been really exciting to look at the progress of the instrument um, and speak to Martin about kind of next steps and everything like that. So one of the things that um, I had to decide was the um, inlays that were going to go into the neck. Now I've had some ideas around that and I have got some pictures and some footage which will just kind of show a rough idea of what um, I decided to have done. So I've been toying with the idea of having a themed instrument and one of the things that I wanted to try and kind of keep intact was the fact that it is a boutique instrument, it's one of a kind, it's going to be made um, to order ultimately. Um, a fantastic piece of wood, uh, fantastic um, materials used, craftsmanship is incredible. Um, one of the things that has been really impressive um, within this process is the, you know, all the trim around the edge of the headstock. Um, it's all wood bound, um, and that that's quite challenging to achieve as a guitar luthier. Um, but I did decide in the end to go for something quite unique for the inlays for the for the fretboard so what I've done is I've always been into kind of space and all those kind of things and um, also my kids are really kind of into into like the solar system and, and space stuff so I had a little look online at a few ideas that I, I came across um, and there was one in particular that I looked at and I just thought it looked really cool and it and it was a kind of an idea of um, of some planets and meteoroids kind of on the headstock if you then don't try to replicate kind of our solar system then you can kind of have some really nice ideas and designs so i went to martin and got you know some rough ideas and different things that would work around it as well and had a look at kind of different types of inlays that you could have and he ordered in some kind of different sizes we arranged them around the fretboard and the result was fantastic to be honest we got um the 12th fret was a big kind of centerpiece with that and the fifth fret and we started to build that in and as we got to the high frets we displaced them and we made sure the colors weren't too bright here are some examples of the different stages for that development um how we placed them and then also the kind of end result I then went to Martin um, to look at um, the guitar with strings on, look at the profile of the neck. Um, I had a little go on it, it was really, really good, but I'm going to have kind of another millimetre taken off of the neck. It's quite, um, it's a, obviously can't change the, the width of the neck, but in terms of the depth of it and also um, trying to make sure that it's comfortable to, kind of to play as well. So I compared it to a couple of other models that he had we decided to take a millimetre off of it. Next was the hardware and we've decided to go for gold hardware. It was a really difficult decision between the silver um, and the gold. So I could have could have had chrome or nickel for um, the bridge. Um, obviously it's a kind of a uh, whammy bar system and tuning pegs, etc. Um, but I did decide to go for gold in the end because the blue is quite dark and I think it will offset it and, com and it really complements the um, the dark blue. So really, really pleased so far. I've got some footage to share with you. I'm just going to reel off um, some pictures, reel off um, some of the videos I've taken. Um, and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, check back in to see its progress as I move forward. Hidden away for no one to 
see those words that you told me on that day. Put thoughts in my mind which I couldn't convey. But now it's over, you're out of my life. No turning back. Very even, because obviously they just. <laughs> Nice, that, isn't it? Is that the one that you showed me on the first picture? Uh, that's this is the same as the first picture, although the first picture was actually this. Yeah. But on this wood, it comes out darker because I've double stained it mm. to get that. So in order to make it lighter, I just single stained it there. So it's not really even, but it gives you can you know obviously it's lighter by not putting so much on. only half a millimetre bigger than my standard small size. So I guess what you could do is have a feel of, I mean obviously the fact there's no lacquer on it makes a bit of a difference too, but I'll give you another one to try which is a fraction smaller. Yeah, best thing is just give it a play for a couple of minutes and just get used to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you want to put it on a strap? Yeah. Get, get a feel of it? Yeah. Where about how low do you wear it? Or high? Where do you wear it? Height wise. What on my body? Yeah. That there. That there. I'll we'll try this. See if this is about right. I think I've just got a lot of guitars with low profile. I've just, I've just got a lot of guitars like that. This is more more like what my 335 is like, I guess, in terms of its neck. Just a little bit bigger, but I don't want a guitar that's the same as other ones anyway, so. The best thing to do is we'll try you with another one that's half a millimetre smaller. And then you can and see. And then just see if I prefer it, yeah. And by the way, by it's just absolutely awesome. Amazing. I just can't get over how good the inlays look, they just look brilliant. Yeah. Consider it literally was just like frying specs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on the floor, I don't think that'll do. No, it was great. Done a really good job of it. Are you happy with it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. And it's it's nicely obvious because that that being the fifth with the double one is obvious. That's the yeah. that bit that one's obvious. Yeah, your main ones yeah, are obvious yeah. enough, and you're right. I think the, what yeah. I've had planned in my head, I wasn't considering the 12th fret um, yeah. as much as I needed to. And I couldn't work out from the pictures. This is just better than the one of the pictures anyway. Much better. It's funny because <coughs> at, at this angle, these three stand out, but at some angles can, they disappear. You I know. mean, I've got the dots here anyway. Yeah. Sorry. I'll be scared to kick it. <laughs> I'll be scared to kick it. <laughs> once, it once it's done. Yeah, lovely. So try.
what it used to be. If you haven't checked out already um, the part one of this vlog um, then you'll find a link in the description um, I recommend you do that and and follow the journey and um, for my custom build guitar hopefully in 2022 it'll be done and uh, I can then create some videos of me playing the guitar and uh, uh, it'll be good glad to hear what you think about it that isn't quite clear.